Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough of another difficult level here. Orbital Station. Yellow level though, so it's only got one exit. Thank God. <laughs> You'll see what makes this level so difficult when I get up to the difficult part. Sound good? Good. Okay, so this is a pretty cool looking level overall, but it is... Just pure death when it get up, gets up to a certain point. Um, right here, I'm gonna wait for them to explode if you don't mind. They are kind of, yeah, they're, they're just... I don't want to risk the stair jump glitch, you know, and I'm trying to spin jump on them to vaporize them before they explode. You know, and yeah. <laughs> so this is probably the best method on how to get past this particular obstacle. Uh, the first section of this place isn't really all that difficult, it's when you get up to... Well, I won't spoil it. You'll see when we get there. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And it's going to be... Ugly. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I forgot about these. These are... These lights in the walls are actually bullet build cannons, and they react exactly like bullet build... Gah! Bullet build cannons do. In that if you're above them, below them, or right beside them, they won't fire. Uh, but it's it's kind of cheap. <laughs> I mean, they look just like regular lights, and then you find out that they shoot at you. And they, they you know, they can shoot at random intervals, so they might just end up shooting at you at the most ina uh, inopportune times. And you might not know that on your first play. I mean, you might notice that the lights are different, but you won't know what the heck the lights are until, until you might take a hit from them. <laughs> Well, you know, from the bullets that come from the lights. Dang it, stop kicking shells around. That's... I'm tired of this shell... Whoa! <laughs> A big bullet bill just came out of that sucker. I forgot about that, too. <laughs> that pipe there. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to bounce on that to make that jump rather than... Uh, uh, long jump the sucker. Careful. Save your power-ups. You will need them. <laughs> For taking... Hits, yes. I think there's a something in that box that's good. I don't know what's in the box. So, well, it could be a coin just to mess with you. But it's pretty well guarded, so I wouldn't think it's a coin. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, that's a power-up. Good. Very good, in fact. Alright, it is coming. What is it? Oh, you will find out soon enough. Oh, yes. Here it is. <clears throat> okay, so you see, we got a torpedo, Ted. It doesn't look like, you know, it just looks like an obstacle. We drop down here. Oh, it's actually spikes. Well, as you can tell, when you go down here, there's a couple of spikes here and there. And there's a message box. Point of advice. If you want to move on, you need to reach higher ground. A spin jumping on a torpedo, Ted, could help you here. So, yeah, you gotta spin jump off a of torpedo, Ted, to make progress. Because as you can tell, when you go along this bottom route here... Oh, there's a mushroom. Kind of missed my opportunity. Hold on, I'm going to try and respawn it. Um, and yeah, spin jumping off the torpedo, Ted, there. Not the easiest of things to do because <laughs> you'll see what obstacles are coming when we reach them on the spin jump section luckily though there's this semi safe pit you know with spikes down below that you could potentially land on down below to break your fall so it's not like there's bottomless pits or anything down here but it's still you know you got to you got to be careful oh oh geez no, 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 oh, shoot! <laughs> and you also gotta control your speed, because as you can tell, you are just a little bit faster than the Torpedo Teds, and thus, what you gotta do is make sure that you don't get ahead of the Torpedo Teds, and you also can't fall behind of the Torpedo Teds, which, as you can tell, could very well be a big issue with when you have... Shoot, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Well, that worked out. <laughs> Because, um, when there's Koopas and spikes that you have to offset your jumps for, you sometimes have to jump, uh, like, lower or higher, depending on how you want to time your next jump over or under said obstacle. So, again, it's, it's, real, it's a really dicey obstacle. I, I don't want to say it's cheap, because it, Torpedo Teds are consistent to bounce on, but, I don't know, it just feels way way too hard in 
those sorts of situations. <laughs> Especially when you have a lot of ground to cover between uh, Torpedo Ted jumping segments. Like, as you see, I have to redo all of this before I even have a shot at doing a difficult obstacle like Torpedo Ted jumping. So, oh, shoot. I know there's a power-up coming up later on, but still. Uh, actually, two power-ups coming, uh, coming up later on, but still, yeah. Hey, boy. This level could potentially take me the entire part to complete, and I would really rather not do the next level with this level, because I know the next level is even worse. <laughs> So, yeah, like, ugh. like as a more difficult obstacle, not torpedo Ted bouncing, but something even more difficult to get. Um, if well, I'm, unless I'm thinking of a level that's after the next, well, I don't know, uh, because there might be a level before I'm thinking of the next. Well, the next level, I'll think. Of, I mean, I'll see when I reach that spot. I suppose I'm getting too far ahead of myself here. I should just be focusing on. The death that is this level here. <laughs> Alright, yes. Now I know there's a power up down below, so I'm going to plop down here where I know it's safe and get myself the mushroom. I think um, from here on out, since you can tell I can get here with relative ease, I'm just gonna cut until I get up to this point here because it's uh. It's gonna be kind of repetitive walk, watching me walk all the way back to here each time I have a shot at getting to, I mean, getting through this Torpedo Ted segment. Unless, of course, you know, I get it here. <laughs> but I wouldn't count on it! <laughs> but let's see, oh shoot. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it! Okay, low jumps, low jumps, low jumps! Yeah! I got it! I actually got it! Woo! 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 -hoo -hoo! Woo! The reason why I know I got it is because behind this door is a midpoint. But there's more. Oh, there's more. <laughs> uh, now there's an even harder segment of bullet bills to get past. You know, these bullet bill lights, I should say, that fire and yeah. I want that other one to fire over there. Come on, come on. This one, yeah, right here. I just want to get away from the other ones, if at all possible. Yeah, I think I should have the screen scroll like this. Oh! <laughs> just, uh, just for the sake of safety here, because I can despawn the cannons behind me, but um, get the cannons... Oh, shoot! <laughs> I touched the edge and got that little edge grab glitch thing. Whoopsie! But yeah, um, being... Having the screen scroll to the right like that could very well be beneficial to me on uh, in that regard. And why did I not get this let's get this power up my reserve right away? I don't know. Okay, fire, good boy. Just one firing at a time. Just one obstacle at a time. Like you, or you right over there. Yeah, yeah, I see you glowing there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope, not going to fire on me. No, sir, Bobby. And there we go. Yeah, see, this this works pretty well when you have the screen scroll like this, but if you don't, chances are cannons behind you will fire on you, and what's going to happen is they are going to block your routes of escape and pretty much fill the whole place with bullets. Okay, this is really timing heavy. <laughs> okay, it's going to fire, and I go under. There we go. Yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, jeez. That could have been. Oh, that could have been bad too. <laughs> All this can be bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. This can also be bad. Okay. 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 Oh no! Don't you dare do that. Don't you dare. Okay. It starts again to some extent. Okay. Now, now, rather than having like um a sort of cushion, we've got a bottomless pit. Yeah, um, <laughs> best of luck. <laughs> Here we go. Oh shoot, I just lost everything there. <laughs> so yeah, it, they just upped that obstacle like tenfold there because you don't even have 
like a little bit of let if you fall off the torpedo Ted when you get up to that spot. So it's it's even more difficult than it was before, <laughs> which is which is unbelievable, really. I mean, if you think about it, <laughs> it's like what else could they throw in your way to in, impede your progress? And wait, I should have the scroll. Yeah, almost made a grave mistake here. E Go! Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't do that. There is still a, oh shoot, a little bit of a unfortunate luck factor to the bullet build cannons and that if they decide to fire at an inopportune time yeah that that could be dicey <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm just gonna keep rushing on ahead here because I whenever I see a bullet build cannon not fire that usually means that it's not going to fire for a little bit so yeah uh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shoot, got behind it. <laughs> Man, this level. At least it's not as long as the last level, though, because that last level, you know, it had a, a difficult segment of stuff after a really boring segment. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really glad that they. I mean that this one isn't as long as the other one. In fact, I think that uh, bullet, uh, yeah, uh, torpedo Ted hopping segment is um, like right after it is the end goal. So if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong about that though. Yeah, bullets are really scary sometimes. <laughs> okay, we should be good. Because there isn't much more to go. Ah, shoot! <laughs> oh, jeez, now this one's firing right away. Mm. Well, I've only got one hit now. <laughs> well, I suppose that's really all I need. Because, you know, this right... Oh, jeez, there's Koopas here, too. Dang it! <laughs> Just dang Koopas. I guess I should try staying low there. And just, like jiggle between left and right on the d-pad that would be really um, uncomfortable to do if I wasn't if I was using like a control stick or something like that well analog stick is the proper term for it but I'm just used to calling it a control stick since the n64 era yep. come on baby fire yeah okay <laughs> I don't I really don't like when they have those like single lines of bullets because what that does is it it creates like a wall of whoa that was pure luck it creates a wall of, of pure death and I'm gonna unscroll those a little bit yeah I think that's gonna be yeah perfect but you fire that way yeah I want to get them ugh, out of the way to a spot that I can safely traverse the place yeah there we go wait oh I almost jumped the gun there that could have been terrible <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's okay. It's okay. We're still in this. We are still kind of in this. Dang it. Oh, man. <laughs> this is... This game showing its uh, previous Kaizo roots, I think. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Um, hold on. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. That seems to be a safer... <laughs> reacted late to it. I was going to say that seems to be a safer um, action. And actually, I was safe there, uh, now that I think about it. Because I didn't have to jump at, over the bullet at all. Why did I derp there? I don't know. <laughs> okay, scroll those three off screen. There we go. Oop. And get down here. <laughs> I, just, I panicked. <laughs> because I, I didn't think I was going to get in there fast enough. I ended up slipping in the slot. And you see, I was uh, moving over to the left there. That's because I wanted to move away from the bullet bills in order to, um, you know, avoid taking a hit from those suckers. But, well, didn't exactly work when I react to it like that. No, did it. <laughs> I mean, I should say when I fall down like that. Excuse me. I mean, I would have been fine if I would have fell down there and didn't jump. But, you know, reaction sometimes just does that. <laughs> Alright, so actually I'm gonna do that, yeah, because they weren't firing. 
Okay. Yo, why did that one blow fire? Like, not the not the two above it. Fire this way, please. Okay. Oof. I really don't like this. <laughs> Just so much pressure. And I probably should start cutting ahead, because you can tell that I can get up to the spot with relative ease, like cutting ahead to each death and whatnot. Okay, okay... Oh my god! <laughs> I did it! And yes, this is the only level I'm gonna play this part. I am... Feeling a little beat here. <laughs> you know, mentally beat. Uh, oh, Invasion Fleet's next, so it's not the ultra-difficult level that I thought was coming up next. Well, I mean, this probably is, you know, it probably has difficulty, but not the difficult level that I was really thinking of. Um, it's, a, it's another one of those Yoshi levels. Not with munchers, but with flight. You'll see when we get there. But anyway, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.